my goodness, Wally, you're home almost an hour early. Well, I'm on the junior dance committee, and we had a meeting. Oh, did you accomplish anything? Well, sure, I got out of my last two classes. I don't think they'll make him junior fire chief. He's too nice a kid to get elected to anything. Is being nice a handicap in getting along in the world? Sure, Mom. Didn't you know that? Eddie's such a sneaky guy. I never know when he's giving me the business and when he's not giving me the business. Well, just figure he's always giving you the business. Then you'll come out ahead. I never thought a nice-looking lady like that would go around chipping kids. I guess if you're nice-looking, it's easier for you to get away with it. They think that it's sound psychology to make fathers feel like they're participating in the lives of their children. Why would anyone pick on a boy just because he's pushing a doll buggy? Well, gee, Mom, guys always pick on someone that's different. Don't you remember how it was when you were a kid? <laughs> Maybe you better go and look for him. What did you say? Well... Wow. <laughs> well, you sure can't say that to Mom. I don't even know if you can say that to Dad. What do you guys keep staring at me for? Because we never saw such a big kid in grammar school before. <laughs> Don't they have a darling place, Wally? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's real darling. I thought you had practice today. We did, but they called it off. Some wise guy filled the football with water. When the coach picked it up, he blew his top and sent everybody to the lockers. There's one thing you never should have told him. That we were doing it for his own good? Well, sure. The minute a guy hears that, he knows he's getting a bum deal. What's the awkward age? Well, that's when you're old enough to do the right thing, but you still have to be watched to make sure that you do it. Find a place where it wobbles back and forth. Gee, Dad, wherever you put it, it wobbles back and forth. Have you seen your brother? Why, uh, did he do something wrong? <laughs> no. Oh, then I think he went over to Gilbert's. Why couldn't you have helped Beaver with his spelling? Oh, well, uh, gee, Mom, I'm studying Spanish, and uh, if I talk about English words, I get all mixed up. How did Dad know? I don't know. Must be parents' intuition. <laughs> What's that? That means you can't get away with anything. How come he's such a creepy guy? Because he works at it. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Rocky Road, peach, maple, walnut, black raspberry, mocha, pecan, banana, eggnog, peppermint, and pistachio. <laughs> Very good. Say, Jan, I thought you were on a diet. We all are. <laughs> a diet of Wally Cleaver. <laughs> Wally Cleaver? Oh! Cheese, ham, tuna fish, roast beef, egg salad, salami, liverwurst, and peanut butter. No, that doesn't hit me. It may in a minute. All right, I'll let you off this time, Wally, with a warning. But I don't want to see you in here again. Oh, no, sir. I don't want to see you again either, sir. Isn't this the yummiest bag you ever saw? Well, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's real yummy. Now, you're going to take this dinner jacket downstairs, you're going to drive to the dance with that girl, and you're going to have a good time. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to take this dinner jacket, and I'm, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to have her drive me to that dance, and I'm going to have a good time. Daddy let me borrow the car, so I'm taking you to the dance. You don't mind, do you? Mom and Dad said you might mind, but I said not Wally. He's different than other boys. I'm really not saying I like girls. I'm just saying I sort of like one girl. Well, look, that's the way the whole thing starts. What if a father answers? Oh, well, when that happens, I usually just hang up. Oh, hello, Betsy. <laughs> huh? She wants to know who I am. Well, tell her, you little goof. You dance like a duck. Your shirt tail's hanging out. You haven't had a bath in two days. Your hair's all full of sand. Boy, if I was a girl and I saw you coming, I'd run a million miles. How come all of a sudden you changed your mind? Well, because Dad gave me a lecture about family responsibility and five dollars. Didn't you say that Betsy got a kick out of you making those funny noises? Yeah, she laughed and everything. As long as you got that working for you, you better keep making them. Oh, boy, Beaver. You busted Dad's golf club. Well, it was nice knowing you. Do I go into your room and borrow your shirts and ties and socks? No, sir. Do you know why I don't? Because they don't fit you. <laughs> no, I have an idea. Beaver likes Penny. Likes her? Why, he's flipped over her. Hey, Wally, you don't think she'll blab it all over the place what I said to her? 
Well, sure, she's going to blab it all over. She's a girl, isn't she? I just think it's terrible, ridiculing him because he's a rabbit. Boys can be so mean. Gee, Mom, if you really felt sorry for the beaver, how come you wouldn't put all those carrot sticks in his lunch? <laughs> Wally, why couldn't you have said something nice or encouraging to your brother? Gee, Mom, if I would have said something nice to him about being a bunny, he would have just thought I was giving him the business. Well, hello, Wally. Is he still locked in the bathroom? Yeah. Why don't we just all quietly move away from here and leave him there? It wouldn't hurt you to pick up that room a little bit. Well, gee, Mom, it's unsanitary. Why, well, a guy'd have to have shots before he could clean up that room. Wally, we love Beaver just the way we always have. Oh, well, it's not you and Dad, Mom. It's him. You see, Mom, Beaver's never been this age before. But you have to go and say that stuff about horsing around with girls. Gee, Wally, I was just trying to be helpful. Yeah, well, next time, don't be so helpful in front of Mom and Dad. Wish you'd uh, have a little patience with your brother. Oh, well, sure, Dad. I've got all the patience in the world. But if he doesn't show up in about 15 minutes, I'm liable to clobber him. Gil, I'm the guy who saw the burrow first. Yeah, but I've got a bigger yard. Like fun you do. Mine's bigger. <laughs> you know something? What? You kids are pathetic. You know, you're a pretty good guy. It's kind of too bad you have to be a principal and everything. I'll try to bear up under it, Wally.